It had been an enormously entertaining morning in Rhubarb's garden. The birds had been watching Moggy Malone and Poodle Princess singing and dancing under the old conker tree. Ha ha! Singing comes so naturally to me. Moggy Malone groaned, as do my outbursts of utterance, darling, smiled Poodle Princess. We need a good agent to find us work, slurped Moggy Malone. Oh, how right you are, darling, puffed Poodle Princess. Uh, excuse me, do I hear on the grapevine that you two delightful creatures are in need of the services of a gifted entrepreneurial connoisseur? An agent? Allow me the honour of scribing a suitable agreement between our good souls. Do what? Write a contract? You can't even write your own name! Stupid cat! Get off with you! Get back on your fence! Young ladies, future show business, if you'll allow. I refer to your glittering talents, of course. Finally, Custard carefully placed the tattered communique into an envelope and proceeded to lick its fish glue with relish. Evening, Custard. Enjoying three dinner nibbles? inquired Rhubarb. Nah, I've got to catch the post with me letter. Catch ye ancient old-fashioned post? Nay, surely not, Rhubarb means. I'll not hear of it. Allow me to introduce you into the modern age, he insisted. <coughs> with my help, you shall instantly deliver your communication. I have everything here. Electric mail, fax machine, satellite equipment, everything that allows me to... to send your letter to anyone, anywhere. Where is your letter? For the fax machine. Uh, but they, uh, they don't, uh, spluttered Custard. And, uh, my letter, uh, well, it's a bit, uh, long... Winded, Rhubarb concluded. Not to worry, Custard, old scribe. Sooner the message is on my machine, the sooner the delivery. Finally exhausted, Custer surrendered his day-long efforts at the written word. Rhubarb peeled open the recently licked envelope and placed the tattered letter into the grumbling fast machine. What's the number? demanded Rhubarb. They, uh, he, they, they, uh, they don't have a, a, a fax. Custard wailed so loudly that the clumsy-looking thingamajig started up on its own and swallowed the note in a single gulp. Oh, he's never done that before said Rhubarb sheepishly, just as Mouse, rodent scholar, scuttled into the shed, took one look at Custer's mangled letter and muttered something about the post. We'll call on my bone phone. I'll read it out to them. Him. Her. Said Rhubarb. No! Said Custard. Aha! So your scribblings are secret. I'll bet they, whoever they are, do have a fax. Well, someone's got a fax, and they know your fax number, Sweet Mouse, as the contraption began to grind out a message. How exciting to be Rhubarb. Who could it be? It's a... Uh, oh, it's junk fax, Sweet Mouse. It's what? Rhubarb asked. A load of rubbish! Junk mail! Ha ha ha! Custard laughed as Mouse read the stumbling message out loud. Uh, win ye an old-fashioned letter writing kit. Ha ha ha! A traditional fountain pen, writing paper, and scented envelopes. Mouse read. <laughs> Smelly envelopes and an old pen. <laughs> Custard was purple. I do not need ye traditional writing kit. I have my electric communication centre, Rhubarb barked, just as Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone turned up. Oh! Trilled Moggy Malone. Could this fax message be from my clever new agent about me new international music deal? Could it be from the Grand Theatre about my new play, darling? Spake Poodle Princess with plenty of feeling. Will somebody turn that off? Rhubarb glared at Mouse as the stream of paper continued to growl its way out of the fax machine and flood the garden. I think I'll just uh, deliver this personally. Too late for a post, said Custard quietly, as he picked up his shredded letter and followed the others. Agent. <laughs> That's what this writing is all about. 
Mr. Paquette. Never known to work, ever. Theatrical and musical agent, suddenly. Ha! Ah. I suppose all that drivel what you wrote is a contract. What? Oh, yes. Tomcat, Custard's friend. Yes, hello, said Rudolph. What can I do for you? <laughs> uh huh. You'd like a message delivered to Custard? Yes. Custard is best agent in world. <laughs> Okie dokie, Custard Tom, said Rhubarb. Leave it to me, he grinned. A message for Custard. A is for agent, B is for buffoon, C is for Custard, Rhubarb muttered to himself as he stirred the gooey letters around a large pot of cold alphabet soup. Then he made his call. Oh, Custard! Yeah? Message from Tom Cat. Ha! Ah, send it over! Ha! <laughs> Custard sniggered. A pleasure, echoed Rhubarb. You have mail! Whiz! The home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find Kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is. <laughs>